Hi guys, if you're anything like me, you're well aware that The Godfather is one of the most exceptional crime movies of all time. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of The Godfather like never before. We'll have the entire cast of then and now, and I will be revealing all the juicy details about the original names of the characters and how the actors have changed since then. Okay, let's see it together. Marlon Brando was born on April 3rd, 1924, in Omaha, Nebraska. He played the character Don Vito Corleone in the movie when he was 48 years old in 1972. Sadly, on July 1st, 2004, Brando died of respiratory failure at the UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 80. You don't even think to call me Godfather. You said you'd come into my house and pay my daughters to be married, and you asked me to hear work. his voice heard, or have his voice heard, anywhere in the history of the United States. Al Pacino was born on April 25, 1940, in the East Harlem neighborhood of Manhattan, New York City. He played the character Michael Corleone in the movie when he was 32 years old in 1972. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 83. Get out of it. Now, Johnny is my father's godson. And my father went to see this band. And he offered him $10,000. Yeah, I, I was in the uh, Dominican Republic uh, doing uh, a movie. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Godfather 2, actually. We're filming oh. that, yeah. James Kahn was born on March 26, 1940, in the Bronx, New York City. He played the character Sonny Corleone in the movie when he was 32 years old in 1972. Sadly, on July 6, 2022, Khan died from a heart attack caused by coronary artery disease at Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles, California at the age of 82. The saps, because they risk their lives for strangers. Oh, that's pop talking. You're goddamn right, that's pop talking. They risk, risk their lives for their country. Country ain't your blood, you remember. I had done a few films. I had done El Dorado. I had done uh, Glory the Guys. I had done uh, Before the Godfather. Robert Duvall was born on January 5th, 1931, in San Diego, California. He played the character Tom Hagen in the movie when he was 41 years old in 1972. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 92. Understand, Sonny. Is that while Salazzo is being guarded like this, he is invulnerable. Now, nobody has ever gunned down a New York police captain, never. He was embarrassed because he thought a stagehand had wandered onto the stage accidentally, and it was Brando. He was so natural. He said he saw it seven times. Sterling Hayden was born on March 26, 1916, in Upper Montclair, New Jersey. He played the character Captain McLusky in the movie when he was 56 years old in 1972. Sadly, on May 23, 1986, Hayden died of prostate cancer in Sausalito, California, at the age of 70. Bill, take him in. Kid's clean, Captain. He's a war hero. He's never been. God damn it! Right. I said, take him in. Well, I thank you. I thank you. you now, know. this uh, this assignment to uh, Yugoslavia to cover the funeral of Tito. What was that all about? John Marley was born on October 17, 1907, in New York City. He played the character Jack Waltz in the movie when he was 65 years old in 1972. Sadly, on May 22, 1984, Marley died from open-heart surgery in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 76. War film you're starting next week. And, uh, I think uh, the dog food people used horse meat, and they got the head from the uh, dog meat factory and put it in my bed. Richard Kant was born as Nicholas Peter Kant on March 24, 1910, in Jersey City, New Jersey. He played the character Barzini in the movie when he was 62 years old in 1972. Sadly, on April 15, 1975, Kant died after suffering a massive heart attack and a stroke in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 65. It's not like the old days, but we can do anything we want. 
The refusal is not the act of Diane Keaton was born as Diane Hall on January 5, 1946, in Los Angeles, California. She played the character Kay Adams in the movie when she was 26 years old in 1972. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 77. My father helped him with his career. He did? How? I have but one. Let's listen to the song. No, Michael. And um, I think that Randy had the most significance, and he's, it's being played out now more than ever, now that he's... Uh... Al Lettieri was born on February 24, 1928, in New York City. He played the character Solazzo in the movie when he was 44 years old in 1972. Sadly, on October 18, 1975, Lettieri died of a heart attack in New York City at the age of 47. Your boss is dead. Abe Vigoda was born on February 24, 1921, in Brooklyn, New York. He played the character Sal Tessio in the movie when he was 51 years old in 1972. On January 26, 2016, Vigoda died of natural causes at his daughter Carol Fuchs home in Woodland Park, New Jersey, at the age of 94. For old time's sake. Can't do it, Sally. now than he's ever been in his life and you now uh, well, since Barney Miller and, and Fish uh, well, are really going full guns. Yes, well it's nice to know. Talia Shire was born on April 25th 1946 in Lake Success New York. She played the character Connie Corleone Ritzy in the movie when she was 26 years old in 1972. Currently she's living happily at the age of 77. You call him there? Who's this? United Artists put that movie out. I don't think they expected that movie to take off, but it did. By the way, Sylvester believed in that movie, so... Gianni Russo was born on December 12, 1943, in Manhattan, New York. He played the character Carlo Rizzi in the movie when he was 29 years old in 1972. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 79. wait a while and then I was told to wait a while by certain people because they didn't want to mention it in the book and uh, it reads like good fellows meet. John Cazell was born on August 12, 1935 in Revere, Massachusetts. He played the character Fredo Corleone in the movie when he was 37 years old in 1972. Sadly, on March 13, 1978, Cazell died of lung cancer in New York City at the age of 42. Talk to a man like Mo Green like that. Al Martino was born on October 7th, 1927, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He played the character Johnny Fontaine in the movie when he was 45 years old in 1972. Sadly, on October 13th, 2009, Martino died from a heart attack in his home in Springfield, Pennsylvania, at the age of 82. Oh, the picture, you know, it puts me right back up on top again. But this. Uh... This man out there, he was Paramount to make the movie. So he was against it. And we had to, we had to rise above that the best way we could. And we did it. Morgana King was born on June 4th, 1930 in Pleasantville, New York. She played the character Mama Corleone in the movie when she was 42 years old in 1972. Sadly, on March 22nd, 2018, King died of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in Palm Springs, California, at the age of 87. You know, we were all kids aspiring to be uh, something mm -hmm. in a business that's very attractive, you know, mm -hmm. but can't... Lenny Montana was born on March 13, 1926, in Brooklyn, New York. He played the character Luca Brasi in the movie when he was 46 years old in 1972. Sadly, on May 12, 1992, 
Montana died of a heart attack in Lindenhurst, New York, at the age of 66. Let their voice child be a masculine child. I pledge my ever. John Martino was born on May 5, 1937, in New York City, New York. He played the character, Polly Gatto, in the movie when he was 35 years old in 1972. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 86. This was somebody else's wedding. Sweet tonado. Hey, Polly! I got two gabagoo. Gabagoo. Ah, oh, it's a bit so stupid. It's nerve-wracking because we weren't sure because Francis was new new director and before we wrap up this journey through the world of the movie the godfather i want to hear from you who is your favorite character from the movie what's this thing that they have that is so appealing to you share your thoughts and feelings in the comment section below and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you're always the first to know when new content is released your supports and engagements mean the world to me thank you for joining me on this journey down memory lane 